Hello everybody, this is Richard Stutzman with my lovely wife April Stutzman. She's on her way back from a conference that she had and so I wanted to go ahead and record this healing testimony and I love the different types of healing testimony that God's been doing lately in our ministry. Um, we had the great opportunity to go with Destiny Encounter to Nairobi, Africa and saw incredible signs, wonders, and healings and miracles. Uh, we haven't put too much of those uh, on a video like this, but we'll probably do that sometime uh, this coming week. And uh, I'm going to wait till April's with us so we can share it together, our excitement. But uh, I had uh, one of our friends that we met over there, and uh, she had a, um, a condition, gluten condition, that it would give her some allergies and things of this nature that was going on. So I wanted to share this with you in a video so I have a recording of it besides the text, which I'll put below so you can read it as well. And uh, we were sharing with the members that were there some of the things that God has done, God has touched, and healings and miracles that we saw. And we love to have the opportunity to, to pray for people who have, uh, whether it's lactose intolerance, uh, we've seen Jesus heal that condition probably about four months ago. Uh, the Lord gave me a word of knowledge at, at a church, and this individual came up, and then she went on a mission trip, and she came back 30 days later, and I asked her about it, inquired how her body condition was reacting to milk. Uh, soy milk, whatever type of milk, it really doesn't matter, you know, lutose intolerance is, is not a good thing to have in your body. And so she informed us that she was all the way down to like 90 to 95 percent healed, that the milk product, dairy products, drinking milk had no effect upon her body. And when I have one of those, I get excited. I, I shout from the ceiling tops. Uh, I say thank you, Holy Spirit, for what you're doing, and because it is, it's, it's His healing power and virtues that flow through us as, as instruments. And so I want to share this little testimony with you. And I did ask this young lady to share it about two, three weeks ago, but she said, well, can we just wait? And you know what? I, I honor and I respect for those wishes, and I did. And so today is the ninth. It has been 30 days uh, since this condition is no longer in her body. And so I'm just going to share it with you here. Uh, she wrote on her, Hi, Richard. Here's my testimony. Feel free to use it as you like or to clarify if you have any other questions. Several years ago, I've been, I began to realize that I was having issues with gluten. My sister was diagnosed with C-E-L-I-A-C, -C, however you pronounce that, and I was having similar symptoms. But I but I did not ever seek a medical diagnosis, but I avoided gluten most of the time. When I would eat it, it would always end up with symptoms. Before going to Kenya, some of the symptoms were becoming more severe. During the conversation with you, Richard, and April, that you were sharing about someone, Richard, that prayed for someone who was healed from this condition. And I spoke and said, you should pray for me. I just love the tenacity. I love people that say, you know what? Can you pray for me? I mean, I let people, if they want to pray for my eyes, so I have to have glasses anymore, I'm like, Holy Spirit, please do it. <laughs> then Richard began to have some words of knowledge about some other symptoms I was having and other words about things that I was not even aware of. Now, you have to understand what happened was is that uh, the team members went out that day, and I was in the lobby, and I was just soaking in, enjoying the glory of, of God, and feeling his presence so strong into me that I was about to bust. It's almost like there is electricity warmthness that you get charged up, and it's kind of like a rechargeable battery. You place it in the socket, it recharge it, and when it comes at the peak time of the capacity of it, you're about ready to burst. You know, it's like new wineskin. You're about ready to burst. You know, you can't hold the fire within you. And so she came in, and I remember this. She just came in and said, Richard, I got things I got going on, but can you give, you have two minutes. I'm like, Yes, I can take two minutes. Thank you, Jesus. Now, if this would have been about three years ago, it probably would have said, no, Lord, I got, I need 10 minutes of praying. I need to press into it. And maybe about a year and a half ago, five minutes into it. And then I got down the 60-second prayer when I'm in restaurants and things of this nature because I want to value people's time. But anyhow, I told her yes. And my lovely wife, April, came over and said, when, I, when Richard did pray for me, the power of God came upon me. 
And April saw the spirit which connected to a generational trust that needed to be broken. I love it. When they cut that cord, I felt something break off of me. Richard prayed for various things as the Holy Spirit led him. And to this day, I don't recall very few of them. He prayed for my thyroid, all allergies, even for supernatural weight loss. Woo-woo! I love that one right there. I keep pressing in for it because I know God can do it again. He did it in Mexico a couple of years ago. I had done a fast before the trip. Even during the trip, I continued to lose weight. When I got home, Richard, I asked if I could share this testimony, and I asked him to give me a month, which is true. I really wanted to confirm what the Lord had done before I shared publicly. I just love it. I love it either way. Whether it's a month, two months, we honor people. We honor people. Can I say that through Thanksgiving until this day, yesterday, the, the December 8th, eating gluten has zero, 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 capital letters, negative, nada, effect on me. And the weight loss had remained up as well. Praise you, Jesus. And thank you, Richard April, for your obedience and service and hearing the voice of the Lord. And so, you know, it is about stepping out. It is about obedience. It is about declaring the things that are not as though they are. And even though in my time and, and seeing different healings and, and creative miracles and assignments and brand new pancreas in people's bodies, he just wants us to step out. He's God. We just receive. And so let this testimony that I'm sharing with you, let it be a blessing to you. Let it be a blessing to you in your life. And Lord Jesus, I pray if there's anyone out there that is listening to this video healing miracle testimony, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that the gluten right now would be healed in their cells, in their cellular, throughout their bodies right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I declare and decree, I break off generational curses of this condition and this Lyme light symptoms that is transmitted father from generation to the next child lord we break this off right now by the power and the glory of jesus christ i command each of the cellular lights to be healed right now father we give you all the praise on what you have done once in the spirit of, uh, of this testimony you're able to do it again lord the spirit of prophecy is subject to the prophets and father we declare father right now that this healing power is manifesting in their bodies. And so as they receive it by faith, as they receive it by faith, Lord Jesus, that they, you are the healer for their bodies. So be blessed and touched by this, and I will talk to you later. So I'm excited about this. So this is major, major things that God is doing, and this is just one of the ones that he's done. So be blessed by this. If you like, you can check us out in KingdomFlameMinistry.com, our website, or you can also check us out on Facebook, and the third place is on YouTube channel. So we'll talk to you later. Bye.